So I've been asked by people many times before why I always have this big dumb looking headset on my head pretty much all the time. And I will admit, it is bulky, it is big, it is annoying. I really want something smaller, easier to use, that can produce the same noise cancellation and audio quality when I'm talking on the phone so that people are able to hear me when I'm in loud, noisy environments. All right, the first thing I'm gonna try out are these AirPods Pro. Now, these are the new second generation AirPods that just came out. I'm also gonna try out this Plantronics Voyager 5200 that just kind of sits over top of your ear and has the little boom mic that sits down next to your cheek. This comes highly recommended by a few of my friends, especially who drive semis and do farm work. And so I kind of have high hopes for this little outfit. All right, the first thing we're gonna try out are the AirPods Pro. And I gotta say the noise cancellation on my end is unreal. I can be in a very noisy environment, turn on the active noise cancellation, and it's like I'm just sitting in a room all by myself with absolutely no sound. Apple claims that these are also good at blocking out wind noise and background noise when you're making phone calls. So let's go for a little drive in the truck with these in and see how they do. All right, as you can see, I've got one of these AirPods Pro in my ears. Uh, you're only supposed to have one ear covered while you're driving the truck. So I don't think the sound quality would be any different if you had two in your ears versus one. So this is what it sounds like when I'm shifting through the gears, accelerating, getting up to highway speed. I've been told by some people that they have trouble hearing me. Uh, other people have told me that it sounds just fine. So you'll have to let me know in the comments section what you think of this. And then we'll move on to the Plantronics Voyager 5200 and uh, finish with the Blue Parrot that I've been using all along. All right, I'm talking to you now on the Plantronics Voyager 5200. Same exact scenario, I'm shifting through the gears on a gravel road, getting myself up to speed. So, if you were having a phone conversation with me, trying to understand what I was saying, this is exactly what you would hear on this little earpiece. I don't like the feeling of this thing. The way it hangs on my ear, I feel like it's always going to fall off. But if it sounds good, and if it's easy for people to understand me, it might be a good option too. All right, I'm just starting out on a gravel road right now, talking to you on my Blue Parrot headset. And just to give you an idea of how much noise this thing is canceling out, I'm gonna switch over really quick to the audio from my phone. This is what it sounds like. And switch back to the Blue Parrot headset you'll be able to get a good idea of just how much noise cancellation ability this thing has. All right, I'm loading corn right now, and I'm recording my voice from the AirPods Pro. So I'm going to walk across in front of the truck. This is me standing right in front of the engine of the truck while it's running. Now I'm going to go over by the auger, seeing how much noise you're getting off of this. Okay, now I'm out here talking to you on the Plantronics Voyager 5200. Some auger noise around me. I'll just walk across the front of the truck, right by the engine of the truck. We'll see how much noise the Plantronics Voyager 5200 is picking up. Now I'm walking under the auger. It's quite noisy. And then here I am next to the auger tractor. So I'll climb back in the truck, drive the Blue Parrot, and we'll do it with that. Same situation on my old Blue Parrot. 450 XT. I'll walk over in front of the truck. Engine noise all around me from the semi. We'll go over here underneath the auger. And you should get the idea of the difference between these three units. So I just got done editing all that audio footage and I am super disappointed in the Plantronics Voyager. I thought it was going to do a much better job than that. The audio quality was terrible out of that thing. And, you know, it's only $80 or $90 as compared to $250 for the AirPods. I don't think they lived up to their price tag in terms of call quality. Now, like I said, what I'm hearing through the AirPods when I'm listening to them in my ears is great. But to be able to make phone calls with it, they don't really work. They keep dropping out words, like it'll miss a couple of words and then you're kind of lost in the conversation and some weird like water rushing, whistling background noises as it's trying to cover up 
ambient noise around you. I can't justify owning those for $250. They are nice to listen to podcasts and music on, but whatever I've got on my head at the moment, I need to be able to answer a phone call at a moment's notice and be clearly heard on the other end. So not gonna keep those. Definitely not gonna keep the Plantronics Voyager. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the audio from those three devices that I showed you. And if you have any suggestions of something that you think is a lot better, let me know that as well. Yeah, say hello. This is Ruby. She's new to the farm here, but she's not a new dog. She is Lucky's mother. She's six years old. She needed a new place to go, so she's been added to our operation. <laughs> she's figuring out about kittens right now. Ruby, they're fine. You gals gonna become best friends? Huh? Ooh, <laughs> maybe not immediately. You don't remember each other? Lucky, this is your mom. Her name is Ruby. Uh-huh. What do you think, Lucky? You, <laughs> it's gonna take you a while to get used to this, isn't it? <laughs> well, we are in for a real bad winter storm. It's starting to snow a little bit here already. They're not really sure about the snow totals. They say somewhere between three and eight inches. Uh, but the big problem is gonna be that we're going to be below zero Fahrenheit for temperatures, and we're going to have wind gusts of 50 miles an hour. And this is gonna go on for two whole days, almost 48 hours straight. So it's gonna be really bad. The cold and the wind is the worst part. And this snow is gonna be really dry as it falls. So I'm guessing we're gonna end up with some really big drifts, but I'm mainly just concerned about the cold. Anyway, that's what happens when you live in Iowa. Well, the wind is just kind of getting started now. It's really picking the snow up. I don't think it's going to be as bad as they said, but I mean, this level of wind with sub-zero temperatures is going to be bad. But I don't think we got as much snow as they were talking about, so that's good. Well, this is day two of the terrible blizzard. I think it's gonna be 12 below tonight. Lucky, hey, I'm YouTubing. You can kind of see out the east end of the barn there, things are just really wicked. This is where the cows go in and out to the water trough and the hay feeder out there. But the last 24 hours, I think they've spent most of their time in here, which is just fine. The wind is coming out of the west at about 50 miles an hour right now and it is 10 degrees below zero. Now it's a lot of work, but I've been spreading all this bedding by hand. I brought these two round bales of corn stalks in the day before the storm started because I knew I wasn't gonna wanna open those west doors to get in here with the skid loader and spread bedding. So it takes a little more work to do it by hand, but keeping those doors shut is keeping everybody really happy in here. Even the dogs. It's actually pretty nice in here where they're hanging out in the barn. I've been keeping them locked up just because I don't want them to wander outside in the blizzard to go have fun and come back in here all soaking wet and then have a lot of trouble warming up. They've got a good place to be in here. When I'm in the barn working, I've been letting them out, letting them run around and chase the cats and have fun. But otherwise, I'm keeping them penned up just to keep them safe. I thought about bringing them in the basement of the house where it's about 55 degrees all the time, but I thought that'd actually do more harm than good because they'd get used to that and then coming back outside would be really hard for them. These are outside dogs, not inside dogs. And as long as they're in here out of the wind and out of the snow <laughs> and they've got fresh water and feed all the time and a nice dry, soft place to lay, they're gonna be just fine. All right, got all the work done out here. So I think I'm gonna head back to the house. Well, we survived the super cold weather in fact, we've had a few really warm days. That's why I'm shuffling along like an old man right now because we got a bunch of our snow melted and then refrozen into skating rinks. So we've got ice everywhere now, which is not great, but the weather is way better than it was. So I guess we'll slide around on the ice and, until it gets warm enough to melt some of that off. Well, now that the bad weather has passed, I'm back in corn hauling mode, which is great because that's one of my favorite things to do, along with combining corn and planting corn and combining beans and side dressing and raking hay and 
having baby calves be born and making maple syrup. I got a lot of favorite things. Anyway, it's a wonderful life. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time.